when you go into a new year, right? Like the people who, who create resolutions or people who are like, oh, I've got goals. Do you mm -hmm. do any of that at the start of a new year? You know, I think it's more about my intentions for the year mm -hmm. and what it is that I want to, I don't necessarily, I think a resolution has like this negative connotation that we've given it. Like if now we don't that. fulfill it, we are not good people mm -hmm. and we are not, you know, following through on, on our, our decisions. And I think that when you can just have grace around the intention that you are setting forth, I think that is really important. And like, sometimes that's all it is. Like even having the intention of, oh, I want to read more. Oh, I want to walk more. Oh, I want to sleep more, whatever it is, right. you know, it, it doesn't have to be like, oh, I think so much of it is like, oh, I have to lose weight or, oh, I have to look like this or, you know, we put so much pressure on ourselves. So I think it's just about like, what is it that you want more of in your life? Mm -hmm. And if you could put a positive spin on it, that's really important for me. Mine is more stillness. So I'm, I'm, yes. I'm translating that into creating the stillness. It's not going to just come. That's right. It's not gonna yeah. be like, oh, Wednesday, here's your still day. That's not yeah. how, that's not how right. it, it And you're happens. like, oh, I have five minutes to be still. I'm gonna do that. Exactly. Right, because sometimes we're like, oh, well, if I can't be still, then forget it. If I can't be still for 10 hours in a day, I'm never gonna do it. And I'm like, Chrissy, that doesn't make any sense. Like just right. five minutes here, 10 minutes there and adds up and then maybe you'll have an hour of stillness, you know, or whatever it is that you wanna do. And it's it, it's important to to just know that this baby steps to the bus. Right, you know, just baby steps to it. Okay, so yeah. then tell it, what would be a, a, an intention that you'd want to share? What would be an intention for you for 2021? For me, I want to be more creative in, in the capacity of storytelling, writing, and not necessarily just songs, mm -hmm. but um, just just writing stories and finding stories that I love or that I, you know, want to tell and somehow could be a part of telling whether it's producing or you know i just feel like it's if i have a, an opportunity or a platform to help other people tell their stories yeah um that means something that need to be told like that's really important too so just just more i guess community creativity yeah i, I, I hear you boss i hear you boss <laughs> i hear you i hear you boss she said 2021 is going to be boss chrissy right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Um, at, we have had so many experts come onto this show and talk about um, dating in quarantine, mm. uh, 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 love in a pandemic, relationships, splits, and all of this. Yes. And I, I just want to know for you because you have you managed to to in the beginning really of quarantine mm -hmm. meet somebody new engage yeah. in something that was fresh and uh sweet um yeah. but i want to know the tip what is the what was the one if you could give the people one thing that got you through the the initial dating experience in a pandemic what was it i think what was really amazing is that you had the opportunity and you had to get to know one another right because we didn't actually have a physical date for quite some time. Right. So actually getting to, guys, I know this is a novel concept, but actually getting, getting to know the person <laughs> before you put your lips on them or before you decide to like, you know, be intimate with them is, um, is it completely opens up another world of like, oh, I just get to enjoy this person as a human, as a friend, as, um, you know, it, it's a very different thing. So I, I just like to encourage people like, and some people are great about it, but like right. really get to know the person before you share so much of yourself, not necessarily just, slow just it physically, down. just slow it down. Slow it down. Yeah. And I, it, I think it makes all the difference, all the difference. My mom always said, time is a revealer of all things. Come on, somebody. Right? Yes. It's yes. All things. So slow oh, that mother sucker down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because then you find out some things and you're like, oh. Oh, right. or, or like very telling, or you're like, oh, oh. wow, okay, I would have never known that if, you know, mm -hmm. we rushed into something else. So yeah, just slow it on down. You got to slow it down. Ooh, I don't, yeah. <laughs> hey, I go there, I go right there with you. Yeah, Wait, I what, can I just, can I just call out the fact that just the mention, like, look at the smile that's on your face. Oh. 
Oh, like, look at you. Look, look. You are <laughs> turkey. I mean, it's true. It's true. He's um, Bradley's his name. And uh, it's interesting because we've been in the same rooms of, as each other because he's from Nashville. He was in music publishing for years mm -hmm. and he worked with my manager. He, I mean, like he knows all the people, knows all the same people I know. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, what? And it just happens to be, I think so much about timing and on our terms and like, why didn't anybody introduce me to him before? Right. But it wasn't the right time. <laughs> it, it was not the right time. So yeah, I mean, he's, he's wonderful. And um, just, it feels like a very adult relationship, very grown up relationship. Okay. And I think that has a lot to do with me and, and the therapy that I've been doing. <laughs> no, it's real. Did, you know, did, 20, did 2021, because I know it, it kicked up for me in like therapy was like, oh, okay, we're going to go ahead and just do this now. We're not going to, we're not going to oh, do yeah. the scheduling till later. Did you, did you kind of kick it up in 2021? Yeah, I mean, I had to. The beginning of, of quarantine, I was not in a good way. Like I was so much anxiety and the uncertainty of what was going to happen mm -hmm. you know and the people that rely on me and how could I not provide for them and then I think Chrissy like there are so many people who are dealing with so much right now stay in gratitude but therapy had helped me tremendously in journaling and mm -hmm. just actually talking about my feelings you know <laughs> those the people I, I don't think people realize the value in it because there's such a stigma to therapy yeah. yep and what I, what I think is a disgrace is that not everybody has the availability to go to therapy. Right. You know, that's just uh, every single reality. person needs to be heard. Yeah. And that's a for, an unfortunate reality. And so we have to treat the soil, you know? So I'm grateful that I, that I have therapy and I was able to get through this, that really crazy weird hump, but so much of, of that was talking to somebody and just, mm -hmm being very vulnerable and like these are the things that I'm afraid of and what's going to happen but right. that's how you grow that's how you grow 100 percent, 100 percent, and it can feel scary it can feel oh gosh um yeah. like is this really what I want to be doing right yes. now but that's usually the thing that you need to be doing oh yeah if it scares you it's probably something you should do yeah, yeah. tell me this because I know that I know that the your cast I know that many of you are like real family members. Mm -hmm. um, do you talk to them about who you're dating? Do you introduce, like, is, oh, there, sure. is, there, is there a time period where you're like, mm, you're not ready for that yet? <laughs> well, you, you know, it's funny. Ready. Sterling, Sterling always has like a little tidbits and stuff to say to me. And so I remember a previous relationship, he was like, I said, I know what that meant, Sterling K. Brown. Ah, um, and so I side eye. Yeah. Side eye. <laughs> he side eyed me for sure. And then after the relationship ended, he was like, I was like, I know. <laughs> so, you know, it's interesting. Like you really, somebody who's been in a relationship for quite some time and has children right. and feels like an older brother to me, I definitely uh listen to to his opinions and you know i'm like oh, oh. and so it's nice even when not even when not even a word is yeah. spoken. like all you had to do was i know <laughs> i know and so it's nice to like talk about um a, a a man who is wonderful in so many different ways and to be mm -hmm. proud about like oh this is you know this is who i'm with now so yeah i mean we definitely are close enough that we, we share those things and you know um unfortunately he can't come to set and he hasn't met anybody because we're in you know yeah cool. very particular about intermingling and mm -hmm. you know mandy's gonna have a baby soon chris and rachel just had bear so and dan and kate have been so like it's you know we haven't been able to socialize as, as much as i think we would like to but um i'm excited for everybody to get to really know bradley yeah so. Okay, so Chrissy, this is a big episode tonight for Kate. Yes. Um, what is going on? Like, what are, what, tell me about this clue into who she is that we're going to learn tonight. Yeah, this is a big episode for Kate because she is and has been contending with a, a, a life event, a decision that she made, um, you know, and it's sort of, I mean, it's of course been with her for, since the moment that she made it and to have held it all to herself and also to come out on the other side of it 
in, in a way that she, she grew from it, which we hope that all the experiences that, that we contend with help us to do. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those, those life events that, um, you know, you don't fully understand until you've been through it. And even though I haven't been through it personally, I know people who have, and I know how important it is. And I'm so grateful that I get to be the storyteller of this particular um, through line in, in the, in the show and with Kate. And, you know, I think a lot of people are going to, to really appreciate what we're touching on and how important it is for people to, to feel less alone. When you, when you read these scripts, do you have, right? Because I feel like there are some things in, in, in these stories that people do talk about that people mm -hmm. do share with family members, loved ones, partners, whatever. Uh, but there are some other stories that we hold on to tightly. Oh yeah. Right? Like it's our own, no one else could possibly have gone through this or dealt with this. But do you have moments when you're reading these scripts where you're like, man, this is so, I know this person. I know this girl. Oh, I know this guy. all the time. Sometimes I see myself in, in the decisions and the writing and the, the scenes because we're all just humans, like literally trying to just navigate life, mm -hmm. you know, and we are our parents unresolved issues. We are, you know, all the things that we bring with us, um, no matter what. And yeah, I mean, she's held on to this secret for, for quite some time and not, not one single person in right. her family or a loved one knew about it. So that's a lot, that's a lot to contend with. And I know that no matter what her, her secret is in particular, we all have some sort of, I don't want to say secret because that's almost shrouded in negativity, but right. something that we've held on to that we've only gone through ourselves. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of liberation and sharing what it is that you've gone through. So I think by her doing that um, is going to help, but also, it, it, you know, who knows? I, I think people are like, oh, what's going to happen with Kate and Toby? And the, we'll see. <laughs> not to fret not to fret not to fret <laughs> we'll see we'll see wait so tell me though as a as an actress because i've seen you go there emotionally i remember even just in the first episode you didn't even say anything you just took a step and it was some powerful mm. um uh action it was some powerful intention as an actress right talking about intention yeah. for a year but like yeah. also and your craft how do you prepare for a scene or for dialogue that's going to come up in this episode tonight like how do you go back to experience do you draw on your own are you method like how do you what do you do how do you it, get ready for this all sorts of things you know uh, it's i have friends and i have loved ones who mm. um for their own reasons have have been through the same thing that Kate is going to be going through. And so I just listen. I listen and I draw from people's experiences. And I also, for everything that I do, I really like to start with empathy, mm. you know, whether it's for the character, whether it's for myself, you know, uh, whether it's for the person I'm speaking to or speaking about. Um, and then, you know, you just have to remain present and authentic. And yeah, I definitely draw from experiences that were difficult for me, whether they were the they weren't the, particularly the same thing that Kate's going through, right. but I know what it, what pain feels like and shame or guilt or um, responsibility feels like. So yeah, you definitely meld that into the performance. You were talking earlier about some of the changes that are coming to your cast, right? Mm -hmm. and all these babies. I know! Uh, I, <laughs> I know, I'm like, y'all, what I mean. I mean, well, we know what they're doing. I'm like, no, we do know what they're doing. However, well, I mean, that's just the thing. Either people, either people are getting engaged, married, or having a baby. And I'm like, people are not playing around. Not and playing I think around. it's like actually really wonderful because I think we're spending more time with each other than we had before. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, when 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 you love somebody, love comes from love. So yeah, it's exciting. I know everybody's having babies. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you a question and I'm gonna oh, tell no. you why I'm asking you the question. Okay. Several years ago, I'm standing at, I think it was um, uh, the, the uh, 30 Rock, 
top of 30 rock mm -hmm. with Hoda Kotb. And I said, you know, this is, a, it's a new year. You know, what are you most excited about this year? And she looked at me, she grabbed me by my shoulders and she said, uh, I'm really excited for a new chapter of love, a new love in my life, mm -hmm. love in my life. And I was like, you've been with your boo for some time. And then I looked at her and I was like, and she kind of looked at me like, shut up, shut up, shut right. up. Right. And I just remember we would find out very soon after that she was adopting her first child. Yes. Uh, yeah. Her first baby girl. And uh, just the the beautiful intention that I carried, right? That everybody in the room carried as a result of her sharing that little bit. Um, mm. You know what I mean? With us, I wonder for you, when you're looking forward to 2021, you know, what might be something that you're looking forward to? Oh goodness, there's so much that I'm looking forward to. Um, I think it's really just, um, being more um, present and honest with myself and um, doing the things that I wanna do, <laughs> as opposed to what people think I should be doing or, um, you know, of course I always hear suggestions and I always love to hear what people's thoughts are, but just listening to myself more and, and hearing, hearing what it is that I might need. So maybe that comes from stillness or maybe that comes from meditation or journaling, but just doing what, what I want to do. Yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. I, look, I don't know about anybody else, but I got excited. <laughs> look, do listen, if there's one thing that 2020, 2020 has taught us is that we have to, we have to be living the life that we intend for ourselves, yes. um, especially if it can some in some way um, be a blessing, certainly not a harm to someone yes. else. Of course. Be a blessing, you know what I mean? Um, get out here and live your life because you got one. Yeah, yeah. And it's short out here. So. Yeah, and I know that everybody, particularly now, is like trying to find or get closer to their purpose. And mm -hmm. um, I, for me, so much of my life was always about other people. Right. And of course it's all about balance. You know, it's not like all about Chrissy, but um, I think I've always been skewed toward the other side. So I'm balancing out with doing things that I, that I've always wanted to do. And, and I mean, that's a huge umbrella, but no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do. yeah, exactly. Yeah. If it means skydiving, if it means uh, eating, uh, uh, starting every morning with a shot of whiskey, I doubt either of those are necessarily Honey. the ones. Honey. I'm not that brave. <laughs> That is not that whiskey and uh, skydiving does not excite me. <laughs> that petrifies me. <laughs> nah, that ain't gonna be my thing. That ain't gonna be no, my thing. No, no, Listen, not lady, this year. 